What's going on, fellas? It's another C Boogie production. Hey, I want to salute y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I also want to thank y'all for liking my videos. And shout out to the Dime Game Division. Let's rock and roll, man. If a woman is not attracted to you, she's going to look at you as a trick. You know, it really is more than that. You know what I mean? That's one way a woman going to look at you as a trick. And the other way is looking at you as a resource. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes those two things can overlap in a woman's eyes. But at the end of the day, that's how she's going to look at you. You know, and that's why on my channel, I constantly tell dudes, man. Yeah, it's, it's important for a woman to be attractive for you. But you might want to make sure that you attracted. Excuse me, that you attractive for her. You know, trust me, man, that relationship will go a lot smoother. You see what I'm saying? And you may ask yourself, well, why is this? Well, it's several reasons, man. You know, when a man is not attractive in a woman's eyes, a lot of times dudes can try to be persistent. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong with that. But if it's nothing there, you know, no kind of spark, your energies don't match even in the least bit. You know, a lot of dudes could be trying to fit a square in a round hole with a woman, you know, and that's when he'll start to offer things, you know, money, gifts, etc. You know, offering up all his time. And believe it or not, man, a man can put a woman in a position where she can't refuse it. You know what I mean? Just think about it like this as a man. What if there was a woman that you wasn't attracted to, right? And a lot of guys been through this. But yet, she's willing to do a lot of things for you. You know what I mean? She's willing to cook for you, clean up your house, you know, rub your feet. You dig Bring you food to your job You know sleep with you And do all kind of nasty stuff with you On demand A lot of dudes gonna take that offer Won't you You ain't got to lie to me dog You ain't got to lie to kick it The answers Eight times out of ten Is yes You know And as a man A lot of us been in that position I mean, the woman that gave us an offer that we can't refuse, man. And it's the same thing in a woman's eyes. You know what I mean? A lot of dudes take that role. You see what I'm saying? For whatever reason, this man doesn't have enough respect for himself. You know, to just move on to the next woman. And save his pride and dignity. You know what I mean? Save his manhood. You see what I'm saying? Um, this happens far too often, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of guys, you know, a lot of high post brothers, they try to come down to the hood and mess with these kind of chicks, thinking that these girls are going to be impressed with them. You know, thinking that these girls are dumb. They understand that you're coming down just to sleep with them. You know what I mean? Nothing more, nothing less. You know, a girl from the hood understands that a high post brother is not going to marry a girl like her, right? They understand these things. You see what I'm saying? Inherently, they do. You know, so in their eyes, they just want to get what they can get. They looking at you as a trick. Point blank, period, man. You know, but in a lot of guys' minds, you know, because men, we have egos. We look at it like, oh, she should be impressed by me. You know, look at me. I got my suit on. I got my tie on. I got my briefcase. You know, I got a European car. I'm driving German engineering. You know, she should bow down and kiss the ring. But you got to understand that women's mind, they're looking at it like, well, what's in it for me? You have all these things. Yeah, you have all these things. But 
what's in it for me? You know, you want what's between my legs and I want what's in your wallet. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is, right? So it's a lot of different scenarios and moving pieces on why women look at guys like tricks. You see what I'm saying? It's not always a situation where a dude just pulling out a wad of money out his wallet and giving it to a woman. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's much more nuanced than that. You dig? But at the end of the day, what makes a woman receptive to a man out the gate is the attraction level. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. It's like going up to a woman in the club. You know, she could be with our girls, her little crew. You could be in a club with your fellas, your little crew. You know, next thing you know, you up in a woman's face trying to holler at her, trying to spit game. And she's not attracted to you. You know, she may entertain your conversation, but she's not receptive to anything, meaning she's not going to feel you. You know, she's not going to internalize anything that you're saying. Everything that you're saying is going in one ear and out the other. She may laugh at your joke. She may like the fact that you're entertaining her. You know, and then a couple hours go by and you realize another dude went over there and she all up in his nook. You see what I'm saying? Her body language is different. He has her undivided attention. You know, they getting kind of touchy-feely. You know, she's touching on him. He's touching on her. And she's allowing that. Why? Because she's attracted to that man. That's why it's important. Period. She doesn't look at him as a resource, as entertainment, as a trick. You know what I mean? She's looking at him as a potential lover or more. Period, man. You know what I'm saying? Period. A lot of men put themselves in this position. Because the narrative goes that a lot of women are out here preying on men. And there is a percentage of women that do that. But the overriding majority of these kind of cases, the man was up in the woman's face and he made himself accessible for the BS man you know yeah he did trying to be too persistent all the time man trying to force it trying to sell himself to a woman that quite frankly is not sexually attracted to him you know what I'm saying dog let me ask y'all a question how many times in y'all life have y'all been around a woman that's sexually attracted to you and you know it, it's all over her face? Every time you come around, she light up. She laughing at all your jokes. She's giving you what you want. She at your beckoning call. She's calling you for everything, you know? She don't even know what to eat for lunch without your opinion. I'm talking about that kind of attraction on that level. How many times as men have y'all been in that situation, man? And a woman just giving you a hard time. You know, and a woman just not open. You dig? That's what I thought. You know, as men, we know when women like us and when women don't. You know, and as a man, you're responsible for your well-being. You're responsible for the situations that you put yourself into. You know, I can understand you get caught up maybe once, maybe twice. But if this is a reoccurring theme in your life, you need to take a step back as a man, examine who you are and figure out why do you keep making yourself accessible to these kind of women? I mean, I already know the answer to that. You know I me, mean? I've studied this. I looked at this, you know. For a lot of guys, it's entertainment to chase around women that don't like them. For a lot of dudes that's not used to having that way with women, you know, they never had it. 
it's actually fun and enjoyment to chase around women, you know, to be treated like crap. Believe it or not, some guys like it, they allow it because any attention from women is better than nothing. You got to understand the psychology of it. Those guys know it. The women know it. No, a lot of these guys can try to act like this don't exist. Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh. That's not the case. A lot of guys would rather be abused by women. I'm going to say that one more time. A lot of guys would rather be abused by women than to not have anything at all. Period, man. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? And it's a sad state of affairs. You know, guys like that, self-improvement is really their only option. Taking a step back, spending time with self, trying to figure out what's in their mind, and trying to fix the deficiencies. You know, looking in that mirror and dealing with their weaknesses, man. You know what I'm saying? Building yourself up emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. You know what I'm saying? When you clicking on all cylinders as a man, because no man should go through this. You know? It's it's really sad, but it's real. It's real, man. It's real. So again, if a woman is not attracted to you, she's gonna look at you as a trick. You know what I'm saying? Or a resource, I should say. A trick and a resource. You know? In her life So you gotta ask yourself How can I avoid these situations Gotta stay in your lane partner You got to stay in your lane Meaning you got to deal with women That's rocking with you You got to deal with women That's liking you You don't like the women that like you Like I said it a million times Get into some self improvement Do what you gotta do And change lanes You know what I mean? Those are your options, man. Or you could fall back and complain about it. The option's yours. My thing as a man, I would rather go without than to be treated like that. That's just what it is. I would rather not have at all than to go through that. You know what I mean? Guys are getting PTSD off that kind of treatment from women, dog. Seriously, post-traumatic stress disorder. You know, and if, and after you go through that on multiple occasions, man, it is going to bring you to a place of caution with the opposite sex, and then after caution, it's going to bring you to a place of paranoia with women. You know, now you don't know what's what, who's who. You know, and a lot of guys go through that, and they become too far gone. But the reality was, they was the architect. Of all of this They allowed this They built this in their life You know See it far too often with men And this is why I put a lot of focus On certain things on my particular channel I do Guys have to build themselves up There's nothing wrong with validation But you shouldn't be chasing it If you're doing the right thing Validation will come to you You're doing what you gotta do Validation will come to you If you're him Validation will come to you. Period, man. You ain't got to constantly get out in the world and look for it. Dog, if you campaign hard enough, you will be elected for something. You may be elected to be a woman's resource. You may be elected to be a trick in her eyes. You know, you done sat there and warmed up the slot machine. And the guy that she's attracted to, he done came, pulled down the lever, hit the jackpot. Now you're mad. Now you're angry. Get your mind right, dog. Calibrate your dom game, man. Get on that 50 cal to that daggone barrel get hot. That's where you need to be. That's where you need to be, man. Facts. That's it. Anything less than that is beneath you, dog. Grab your manhood by the throat and hold on to it. Embrace it, accept it, man. But you gotta want it. Stay out of women's face that don't like you. 
stay out of woman's face that's not attracted to you or pay the consequences i'm done with this video shout out to the dime game division peace